TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the Wednesday, uh, 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network, uh, February the 22nd market update. Dow's of 41 points at 33,171 after diving 700 points yesterday. Look at that big red candle underneath the blue horizontal line, which is really the key support level. That's now major resistance in the 33,600s. Here we are, 33,170. 33, <clears throat> A very feeble uh, rebound today so far. Day is young. We'll see what happens. Look at the S&P. S&P was also down very sharply. It closed under the 200-period the exponential moving average yesterday. Uh, that means that the Dow and the, uh, the Dow and the S&P and the Qs are in sell modes on the daily charts, not the weeklies, but the dailies. Uh, that can reverse at any point, but that's the designation I'm giving it right now. S&P is up five, uh, up five at 4,002, uh, struggling to uh, really garner strength. That all the technical indicators are turning down, and you finally got the nine period flipping to negative. We'll see what happens by the end of the day, but so far, that is a flip to the downside. Look at the QQQ NDX 100 trading vehicle. We're looking at this up 54 cents at 294.62, also under the 200 period exponential moving average. Uh, this one is making that pattern that we call the H pattern, the dreaded H pattern. We're going to see if in the next two days it's able to get to 297.80 or if it's going to slide underneath uh, the low today's in the 294 area. Watching that closely, IWM Russell 2000, um, also weak. Yeah, it's up 67 cents after a very sharp decline yesterday. Also in that H pattern, I'll talk that, about that in my show coming up. The Dying Technician's Hour, 188, it needs to hold 186 over the next couple of days, so that's going to be a problem. Look at the gold. Mm -hmm. Gold keeps trying to rally and it can't hold the rally. It's up to at 1844. That 200 period moving average that I've been talking about for some time now, uh, it's just, it's like a magnet at this particular point at uh, 1836. Uh, if you're looking at the dollar, actually, the interesting thing here is that the dollar is moving. Uh, just, it's down 10 ticks at 104.11. It's kind of stuck here under the 200 period moving average. And bonds, uh, bonds are up just a little bit for the crude oil. That's going to be also the issue that we need to monitor. Crude oil is very weak. It is down in the 75s. I'm thinking it's going to hit the 72s in the next week or two. I'll be back in a moment.